What is up, everybody? It is November 1st, 2022 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. And this is the calm before the storm video. We're at the golf course right now. We're looking at a couple inches of snow possibly by uh, Wednesday night. It's supposed to start probably at three in the morning, come this next morning. And yeah, I know you guys are super sad and upset for me about my car. And I just want you to know oh, real, real quickly before we get on the road here, and yes, I said on the road. Um, my wife's engine blew up about three and a half weeks ago. So I was desperately desperately looking for a way to buy a new car to give her my Subaru. And then I told her my Subaru. So anyway, long story short, later on that night, after I crashed and so freaking depressed, my salesman from a Subaru dealership called me and said, congratulations, you got approved. Can you believe that guys? So I just picked up a brand new 2023 Subaru Outback Touring XT. It's the most bad arse one that they make. It's got every feature you can imagine, leather seats, it's got a turbo in the engine, everything's digital touch. Um, yeah, so I thought I would show you guys my brand new 2023 Subaru Outback Touring, just real quick and then we'll go for a ride for the calm before the storm. It's just, uh, it's a little filthy, but yeah. Look at that bad boy. Can you believe this guys? I can't believe it. I really can't. I really can't. And this is going to literally tap me out. I'm not going to have any leftover money each month, but that's okay. As long as my wife has a car and I have a car, we're good. And eventually we're going to get her car fixed because that poor woman spent 30 grand cash to buy her car. Like she saves money. I don't know how she saves it. I can't save money like that, but I can make monthly payments. So check it out. I know it's really kind of extra light in here right now, but we get her started so you guys can see, and then I'll pull into a darker little spot so the sun isn't killing us here. So there we go. I know this isn't the best view, but yeah, and we've got like the Apple chargers, all, all the good stuff. The parking brake, you just push that button and then let's see here. Oh, as a matter of fact, my my salesman is is texting me right now. But yeah, guys, so this is this is the deal. I got a brand new, super top of the line. It's the most top of the line Subaru they make. And uh, with my with our 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 credit, I didn't have to put anything down. Which is like, if I would have had to, that would have been impossible for me to do this. I am a little nervous about it because it's it's not cheap, but. Like, check it out. It's got like Apple CarPlay, everything through here. Um, even heated seats and air conditioned seats button right there. You just push that freaking digital button. Um, it, it's got every feature you can imagine. Look at the rear view mirror. When I flip this thing up, it turns into a camera. Watch. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's a camera now. And then it's got the front view camera right here. So if you're trying to park, there's the front view camera. Um, yeah, basically it's got everything. I can't believe that I got this. It's got a sunroof. Woohoo! Uh, but yeah, leather seats. Um, everything's digital. As, as I said, the engine has a turbo. So for a little four cylinder, this thing is fast. But anyway, I love you guys and we're going to go for a ride now. Hope you guys are happy for me. I've worked very hard for a lot of years and I never wanted to spend this kind of money on a vehicle, but I thought I can't take it, take it with me, any extra funds that I have. So I might as well use it on the car. And yeah, as I said, I'm not going to have anything left over, but that's okay. As long as I am safe and my wife has a car because my 2019 Subaru is going to be fixed. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you got a good view of the vehicle. Um, let's go for a ride. All right, here we go. And this suspension is like way different than my cars. Oh, by the way, it has lane assist and braking assist and everything. Um, it's got a feature where I can, here, watch, watch. While we're driving, I'll just push this real quick. If I go to the car right here. So that AVH thing, that's, I can push that little digital button. And what it does is it makes it so when I'm stopped at a stoplight or something, I don't have to hold my foot on the brake. It'll just stay stopped. But I don't want to use that feature because once I get into my other car again, um, once it's done and being repaired, <laughs> I'm probably going to forget 
and then I'll let go of the brake and rear end somebody else. But yeah, anyway, guys, I am super, 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 oh, it's got a heated steering wheel. You push this button right here, boom, 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 and the steering wheel is immediately beautifully warm and crispy. Um, it's got the, the auto start, like my other car, and I can unlock the car, lock the car, turn on the lights, honk the horn, set my climate control before I get into the car, set my seats if I want them to be on the warm setting or the cold setting. It's just... I never knew Subaru made something so incredible. But yeah, as I said, everything's digital here. Um, also, it's got a feature <clears throat> where um, it's got cameras inside that are watching you. So if you take your eyes off the road, it'll it'll like make make some sound saying, put your eyes back on the road. Um, and then it's also got a facial recognition feature where let's say my wife gets into the car and she has different presets for, for the seat then um, it'll, it'll recognize her face right away and automatically move the seats and the mirrors to where they need to be. And it just said, keep eyes on the road. Look, see that? Because I'm looking over at, at, at Bear Mountain. How crazy is that? <laughs> but yeah, guys, so I know a lot of you are gonna be super happy for me. We have a, another great vehicle now. Um, I'm getting my snow tires put on tomorrow, I think. They were supposed to be put on yesterday, but unfortunately that did not happen. Did not happen. And, uh, because my friend who owns Knight's Auto was, he was down the hill doing something for his business up here. But anyway, yeah, guys, I hope you guys are happy. I'm super, super happy. As I said, I didn't expect this to happen. Not at all. Um, not at all, honest to goodness. And then uh, not only did it happen, but I was able to get out of there with zero, zero money down, zero trade in. It's just a six year term. So that kind of sucks. And as I said, it's like every penny that I have. Um, I might have to cancel my cable at home, but that's okay, I don't care. Like, I don't watch my cable TV anyway, and that's like 200 and something dollars per month for my cable. And I never, ever watch it. I only watch like uh, smart TV features and stuff like that, like YouTube, Disney TV, uh, Netflix, Prime Video, stuff like that. So that's not gonna be too much of a big deal of a sacrifice um yeah as i said kind of dumb to like push myself like that but at the same time i have to work every day anyway it's not like i was planning on retiring in three months and now i have a massive car payment so not too worried about it not too worried about it hang on just or wait actually hang on a second so yeah let's do this guys so as I said, we got maybe maybe two inches of snow coming. Um, I'm gonna let this guy pass. I'm gonna turn here at this next street. But yeah, it's, it's gonna start at about three in the morning. And uh, it's not gonna last too long, this first part of the storm, but it will start at about two, two or three in the morning. And uh, maybe we'll get a dusting out of that. But then later on in the day at about six or 7 p.m., it's supposed to start up again and go all the way till about three in the morning again. And that's when we could get our inch or two of snow. It's not much, but it is our first snowstorm, so I'm super excited. And I know you guys are super excited about that. Um, yeah, I can't believe it, guys. I can't believe it. Um, the timing for everything. As I said, I didn't expect this to happen. Like, I was talking to this guy a couple weeks ago, the, the uh, salesman down there, because um, as I said, my, my wife's engine blew up and it's only 2,000 or 3,000 miles out of warranty, you guys. And so that's a big deal. It costs 10 grand for a brand new engine for her and 2,000 for the install. And it's impossible for me to come up with that up front. So um, making monthly payments I can handle because I'm, I'm really good at saving money. Um, but yeah, um, and my business is, is pretty good. So I'm, I'm happy about that. But yeah, and, and so I talked to them and they didn't think they would be able to get me approved even with like five grand down. And uh, so I just thought there's just no way I'm gonna have to use the rent-a-car that Enterprise gives us for a month um, until my car is fixed and then figure out a way for my wife to have a car. Um, she was gonna have to keep on renting a car. She's renting one right now. Um, so once my car is fixed, she will get her car back. But yeah, guys, I, I appreciate the love and support that you guys showed me. All your comments, oh my gosh, just incredible just incredible. I really am truly, truly amazed at how much you guys do really love me. 
And I really love you guys a lot. I will do anything for you guys. I will literally do anything for you guys. You guys have done so much for me. And I'm super, super, super thankful. Um, if you guys are wondering why I couldn't ride my Harley, obviously for the snowstorms I can't, but why I haven't been is because that engine blew up at 10,000 miles and it's been sitting at Riverside Harley-Davidson for four months. Long story, but long story short, they, uh, the, the warranty people finally came out there to approve my replacement. And I don't know if I'm gonna get just a brand new motorcycle with a brand new Screaming Eagle Stage 4 kit on it or not, but everything was covered. Um, and yeah, so we're just, we're just gonna drive around and go through the village and do a calm before the storm video. And I am looking forward to this season with y'all. But yeah, how awesome is this, guys? Just, just amazing. I gotta turn my heat, seat heaters down a bit. It's got three levels, just like the air conditioning part. So I'm gonna turn it down to the lowest level. But yeah, I am like super amazed and super blessed. Never expected this to happen. But when you work your butt off for years without ever taking a day off, because I literally, I haven't taken any days off in, in years. I've, I've had people help me with my business, but I still have to take all the phone calls and set everything up. And so, yeah, I, I, I didn't physically have to go out maybe five or six times. I had someone helping me, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, just super amazed and amazed with, 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 with myself that I was able to actually pull this off. So anyway, once again, I hope you guys are proud of me and just excited for me because I'm excited. I'm worried about crashing this thing, as you guys can imagine. Um, but as I said, this one has that like, that like uh, um, collision sensor and stuff, braking sensor. So if I'm like flying up on somebody's rear end, it'll stop the car. I, 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 just, I can't believe it. Um, but yeah. So I hope a bunch of you get a chance to come up here and enjoy this first snowstorm. I think if you do come up here, you're not gonna have to worry about being price gouged for your hotels or um, stuff like that while you're here because it's gonna be middle of the week type of a storm and not too much snow. So you're probably gonna not have any problem finding um, a place to stay for a, a, for a good price. And I really hope a lot of you do come up here I really hope you come up here and enjoy this place. We love you guys so much. I know I know, I, I know sometimes it feels like the, the locals are a little bit mean, but I promise you, there's so many good, good people up here who, like me, appreciate you guys, knowing that without you guys, none of us can live here. It's the tourists who come up here and, and inject money into our economy to allow us to live here, to allow jobs to be created up here etc etc so thank you guys a million i will always help you guys to take the shortcuts and find the best places to stay for the best price i'm always here for you guys to help i want you guys to always have a great time up here but yeah don't ever let a few uh bad apples upset you because it's those people who don't re who, who don't realize and don't remember every single day that it's because of you guys that we get to live here and we are at Snow Summit right now. We're just gonna go through the, uh, the little part that I like to drive through and then we're gonna go through the village and then we'll be done with the video. But yeah. I don't know when they're planning on opening the resort, but the year that I worked at Bear Mountain as a cook, it opened uh, December 21st, I think. But that was a late snow season. Hopefully it opens sometime this month. Oh look, electric vehicle charging. I think that's what it was. Anyway guys, hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Um, I'm still kind of in shock that I have this car and then when my car is fixed, as I said, I'm gonna be giving it to my wife because uh, we can't afford 12,000 bucks. And I think it would be worth it just to save a little bit here and there and eventually get her engine replaced. Um, we're willing to go used. 
with a used engine, but the used engines that what we looked at only had like a 30 day warranty on them. So we wanted to get a brand new engine because it'll last a lot longer, the warranty. Um, yeah, but hang on you guys, hang on. Okay, had to take a phone call. I'm not gonna answer the phone or text, I swear. So I wasn't even texting when I crashed you guys. I really wasn't, um, but I was on my phone. I, and I wasn't even looking at my phone. It was through the freaking Bluetooth thing. So that concerns me on how I got so distracted just like that. That's the first car accident I've ever been in in my whole life. I'm 42 years old. So hang on guys. Okay, so here we go. We are turning left on the Big Bear Boulevard from Summit Boulevard and we're gonna go through the village. You guys can see how really calm it is out here. Beautiful, beautiful blue skies. It's just gorgeous up here, always, always. Always, always, always. Okay, so let me see here. Yeah, so guys, thank you. I'm so, I'm sorry for talking about this vehicle and my situation and the crashing and this and that. I know that's not what this channel is for. This channel is for weather and snow and just happy, fun times. I mean, this is a happy time for me. As I said, a really nervous time because it's a, it's a freaking monstrous monthly payment. But um, yeah, it's, it is what it is. I was willing to put myself through the stress. So, we shall see. Yeah, anyway, we are about to go into the village real quickly. Like it says, keep eyes on the road because I was looking to the right at Grizzly Manor. That is so funny. I mean, that is so funny. Once again, I wish I had my snow tires on. They were supposed to be put on yesterday, but um, c'est la vie. Once I get the snow tires, we'll be doing a lot further driving when it comes to the, the snow videos. Instead of just staying on this side of town, we'll be all over the place like usual. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I just don't want to, even though I'm sure I'll be fine in this um, without the snow tires, but uh, yeah. Oh, and the X mode thing, guys, look at that. The X mode, so I can drive in the snow and stuff. You hit that right there. You just hit, hit it digitally. My other Subaru, every Subaru that I've seen, it's like a button and a process. This is so cool that everything's digital in this bad boy. All right, we're in the village, guys, with some beautiful fall foliage. Look at that. Look at that. Look at these colors in here. Unreal. Super beautiful. But yes, my friend, I'm very excited. I am very excited to get the snowfall tonight. I'm probably not going to be making another video guys till about three or four in the morning so i'm sure none of you are going to be awake by then but you know i am very obsessive compulsive about this and even though i hate waking up in the morning or just like especially that early um i just can't not do it so i'm super looking forward to it um i hope it pans out to be a little more than than, than we expected but yeah, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, first snow of the season. So the cave is no longer the cave. It's called Village Sports Bar. That's a bummer. I thought they found a way to keep the cave open. But they didn't. They didn't. It was a really nice venue for for music. It was really nice. 
I've, I've only been in there once and it took me seven years to finally go in there. And I went in there this last year um, to watch my friend's band play. And I was shocked because from the outside, I, I, I just thought it, it was gonna be a total dive. But no, it was pretty spectacular. <laughs> So anyway, guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for how supporting, supportive and loving you have been towards me. Um, I couldn't believe it when pretty much all the comments were like basically saying, Nick, take care of your back, take care of yourself. We can go without videos for a while. Just make sure you're okay. And I just, I'm so blown away with that. But you guys know my obsession. Like there's no way I could go without doing a freaking video so if I didn't pick up this car this brand new car I would have had a, a friend of mine taking me anyway to do these videos so no matter what it would have been done I don't think he would have wanted to wake up it or it or the moment that it starts snowing have me wake him up and say get over here quick and that's what I would have been doing but yeah Super, super blessed. It's amazing how this whole situation worked out for me. And this, this thing you see, when I let go of the brakes, the brakes turn off of the car. That, that little car right there. Look, see my brakes are off, and the brakes on there are off. It's the coolest thing. If I touch my brake, watch. <laughs> it turns on. It is just so cool. If I swerve at all, the car, like like a pinball machine, pin, pinballs me back into the lane. It's just amazing. But enough about the car. You guys know about the car now. You know that we're gonna have a great season. Um, I'm hoping this car is a prelude to an amazing snow season. I know there's absolutely zero correlation, but I'm trying to find any way to make a correlation between the two. Wow, I just tried to change lanes without turning on my signal and the car like pushed me back into this lane. So let me change lanes with the signal like I usually do. I'm just, I'm, I'm still learning this car, trying to figure out all these things. Um, yeah. But yeah, get ready guys for a video at about, I would say three or four in the morning. That looks like when we're, we're, we're going to get our first dusting of snow and I will be out there. I will be out there recording for us. And then it takes me a long time to upload the videos and stuff like that. Like it's a long process. It, it really is a long process. But nothing, nothing makes me happier. It's, once again, it's saying keep your eyes off the road or on the road. <laughs> it's so hilarious. I think I can turn off all these safety features, but I don't want to. Why would I, you know? Especially when I said I was paying, or I thought I was paying attention. I wasn't texting or anything like that. And when I do these, these videos, I'm never looking at my phone at all. I'm staring straight ahead the whole time. So we shall see. Anyway, I think I'm gonna let you guys go now. As soon as we turn onto Moonridge Road, I'm gonna let you guys go. But thank you guys once again for all the love and support. I mean, I, I, I just cannot, cannot believe it. You guys really do care a lot about me. And I really never wanna let you guys down for any reason at all, for any reason at all. I was so stressed about these videos. Because not only do I do this for you guys, though, I, I do it for me. Like, this, I do it for me. Recording the snow and re-watching it and stuff like that takes away a lot of my depression. And, uh, anywho, I love you guys a lot. Thank you for everything. Thanks for being a part of my life. Thanks for the support. I, I'll never be able to thank you guys enough. And I just hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you in probably, I don't know, 13 or 14 hours. Love you guys. Bye.
Oh, November 1st, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California.